Hey friends, it's Mrs. Howard here. Um, wanting to tell you about how awesome community donations are to our schools. I'm a kindergarten assistant in Guilford County Schools and some of the things that we do, well, the most important thing that we do with um, school supplies is we help children who don't even come to school with a backpack. We have kids who come to school with everything from a new wardrobe to all the right tools to all the extra tools and then some children don't come to school with a book bag or any of the stuff. So um, with your donations, we're able to provide that for these students. I would say my top three wish list things are um, tissues, crayons, and um, pencil boxes. The Not a pouch, a pencil box. The plastic ones like you can find at the dollar store. Awesome. And when you donate these supplies, it keeps, um, it helps teachers uh, stay out of the stores ourselves. So. Thank you very much. We appreciate your help and have an awesome school year. Hi, my name is Monica Haya and it will be my 20th year of teaching. Um, so for the last 20 years, I had a lot of help from a uh, community. Without help, I would not be able to have enjoyable and fun learning um, with my students. Uh, in the past I've got um, books and pencils and cleaning supplies. Um, also a lot of small prize bags items to motivate my students. Um, what I liked the most was probably the flexible seating so my students can move around. Uh, they don't have to stay in their desk for the entire day. Um, to make their um, learning enjoyable is the most successful way uh, for them to learn. And also what I loved in the past is that I had uh, sponsors for each of my students who, um, who donated $20 for the entire year per student. And every month I would buy $2 books from Scholastic Book Fair for my students and every month they would get their own book which they loved it so without community help learning would be boring and the classroom would be really 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 bare without any decorations and without hi my name is hannah davis and i'm a third grade teacher in high point community school supply drives really help our students it helps us give them the supplies they need to have a successful school year and also helps financially for parents and teachers. Some things on my wish list are always your basic supplies, of course, but especially art supplies as well as PE equipment so they could have more fun during recess. Some supplies that I've gotten in the past that have been really helpful are your basics. Glue, scissors, pencils, crowns, markers. The basics are always the most helpful to me. Some things I've been able to do in past with our donations, I've been able to do more projects, and get the students really engaged in their learning and have more fun activities with these supplies. Hello, my name is Alexa Saba and I'm a third grade teacher at Shady Brook Elementary in High Point. All school supplies are helpful in being funded in the classroom, but especially Expo markers, pencils, and coloring pencils because those are usually the first to go missing or dry out. In the past, my classroom has been funded with little toys or prizes that goes into our class prize box. This is a way to help motivate students to stay responsible, organize, and complete all of their academic tasks or assignments. Three of my classroom wish list items are coloring pencils, recess equipment, and expo markers. Community School Supply Drive helps me as a teacher fund my classroom with instructional materials and allows me to provide supplies to students who are in need of them. Hi, I'm Cherie Kuhn and I'm from Shady Brook Elementary School. I teach special education, kindergarten through fifth grade. School um, fundraisers and donation drives benefit me so, so much. Um, a lot of my students live in, in poverty and are students of transition um, and finances are very tight for their parents and their, the parents main goal is to get supplies for their classroom and sometimes they forget about the special education teachers needs and the supplies so basically as a special education teacher I supply 100% of my students needs. Um, my needs and my students' needs are um, very different from regular ed students' needs. Um, 
you know, my students sometimes already feel low and like they can't do something. So something like dry erase markers that come in multiple colors, not just the blue, the red, and the black. I mean, when they have a choice that, oh, they can write in pink, ah, they're like, ah, I can do this, and they want to write all over in pink. Um, Play-Doh, who knew? Play-Doh can get a student who is highly frustrated um, give them a chance to squeeze something and, and just relax. Play-Doh with scent. Who knew that Play-Doh with scent could help you calm down? Well, I've got several students who like to smell Play-Doh and it works. So, you know, multicolored paper to write on. So in my line of work, anything that gives students choices beyond what they get in the classroom is extremely helpful. Uh, the best teacher gift I ever received was a gift card to Teachers Pay Teachers. I spent hundreds of dollars um, buying resources on Teachers Pay Teachers for um, students with autism or severe learning difficulties. So that has helped. Target gift cards, Walmart gift cards, all of those things greatly benefit a special education teacher. Uh, thank you so much for any donation that you give. Um, any teacher would greatly appreciate anything. Bye and thank you.